After catastrophic flooding destroyed the lives and homes of many Eastern Kentuckians last month, hundreds of families came out to Jenny Wiley State Resort Park Tuesday morning to receive shoes and a little bit of hope by a few familiar faces. Thousands of shoes going to where they're needed most. See the kids and what they're going through is, is a neat thing. But having other coaches, Carlos and Brian, and having Goose here, having Coach Elsie here, I mean, you know, we came down and we weren't planning on this part of it. We were just gonna, and I said, you guys gotta experience this. And so, you know, but th this is for the kids. And hopefully we continue to, to help. In a ceremonial foot washing aimed at helping kids get back on their feet, Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman, University of Kentucky men's basketball coach John Calipari, and others from UK's athletic complex joined to deliver and place shoes on those kids who lost everything from July's floods. You know, we're here to serve some of the amazing people here in Eastern Kentucky. They have gone through so much pain and so much loss. I mean, the flood came, ravaged and devastated many of their homes. And, and Coach Calipari and I and, and the governor said, what can we do to help give back? So they reached out to the Samaritan State. So we came here today. We've got over 2,500 pairs of shoes here, another 2,500 at the other park. Uh, our goal here is to serve every single recipient and look them in the eye and say, we're here with you. Uh, this token of our precious, this pair of shoes for you to walk back into your destiny to remember to be hopeful in spite of these challenges we're going to take this and just just match it with their purpose and go do accomplish and do great things at pifel medical center our vision of creating a heart and vascular institute that will rival any other in kentucky is a reality we've assembled a top team of more than 30 multidisciplinary providers together those highly experienced providers perform many of the most advanced cardiac procedures available anywhere we have armed them with cutting edge technology and resources needed to provide comprehensive heart care close to home. Pikeville Medical Center, when it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. While hundreds of kids received shoes, many are preparing to return to the classroom. Lieutenant Coleman describes how a pair of shoes can change a student's outlook on the school year. So there's the academic aspect of going back to school, right, where you're thinking about classroom and learning, but then there's all of the social and emotional aspects too. And so something as simple as a new pair of shoes for kids that may have lost everything else in their in their closet or their drawers, uh, I think changes the mentality for them. A uh, little girl that I got to put shoes on who's going to be in the first grade starting tomorrow uh, was so excited that she got these pink shiny shoes. I said, you're going to have the best shoes in the first grade. And she said, yeah. You know, and so it's just like that moment where they get to have a little ounce of normalcy and hope. Uh, as they move into um, going, starting a new school year and kind of starting anew in that way. Lastly, as families rebuild what was lost, a hope from Coleman is that kids see the value of local leadership. You know, I, I just I don't think it can be overstated how important it is that these leaders, uh, these coaches that these kids look up to, uh, that these families look up to, that they see on TV, that are the big, you know, celebrities of Kentucky are washing kids' feet and putting new shoes on them. And they've donated all of these shoes for these kids to be able to have. I mean, you saw the line out the door, so you know how needed it is. But that moment of, of humility um, for these coaches to be able to be servant leaders and to show these kids and these families that this is what leadership is truly about, so often that's so lost on us um, in, in uh, the adult world. We forget that that's the purpose of leadership is to serve. And what we did today was a perfect living example of that. Reporting from Floyd County, Kentucky, for Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.